Okay, I I would like to present to you guys how Miradi works in Mongolia in the until today. And uh, this is just brief information about Miradi. And um, uh, uh, I'm sorry for my English is not not so good, but I trying to <laughs> I'm trying to ex explain. Then uh, here is the um, here is the outline of the, my presentation, and for this Mirade guideline of uh, protected area management plan, also capacity building on the Mirade, and uh, our challenges of the Mirade in the past. Then uh, first, I would like to talking about the. <clears throat> How Miradi used in the Mongolian protected area management. In the history, uh, in, 2000, in 2012, in the Ministry of Environment of Mongolia, uh, approved, approved for the open standard based protected area management plan. Then, uh, then after, after that, um, after, since that time, and uh, most of the Mongolian protected area is established for the uh, protected area management plan uh, based on the open standards concept. Then um, Miradi is a part of the open uh, uh, part of the open standards uh, tool. This is uh, the difficulty imagine. Miradi for without open standards. Then, um, and over the last five years, uh, our, our 50 protected areas management plan um, um, established by open standards guideline. Then it means all the 50 protected area administration uses the Miradi software. Oh, this is uh, just uh, my Miradi files. So in last since 2012, I used for the I helped for the many protected area area management plans. Then I I used the uh, Miradi the many files. Then another another step uh, is uh, capacity building for the. From uh, Mongolian protected area staff and other some of the environmental NGOs. Then in, this is uh, a V tall WWF and TNC tall. Uh, we collaborated for uh, collaborated for teaching for Miradi software for protected area management officers and uh, also you know some of the environmental NGOs. Oh, like this. Then uh, this is the list of the trainings, and uh, training is uh, held by year by year. And we taught Mirati software training in the 2012. This is the main main training of the Mirati. When uh, is the when we when we uh, when we uh, um, are trying uh, organizing for the organizing open standards concept, and always we are mentioning and explaining for Mirati software how we tracking our management plan on on the easy way of the of the of the software. And the challenge, the challenge is uh, we use the Mirati in a Mirati software in Mongolia. It's as well, but we don't have a guidelines. Guidelines is in Mongolia. This is uh, most a uh, uh, weak part because many of the many of the uh, government people and some of the NGO people who interested Mirati software. They always ask, do you have a guideline? But actually, until today, we don't have guideline of the 
Marathi and Mongolian version. And uh, also, it's um, in the in um, keep, uh, now I'm talking about for the more detail in the detail in, in the Marathi software. Uh, most difficult part of the Mirati in the viability assessment is very important part in the Mirati, but um, also in viability assessment and monitoring part. Monitoring of the viability assessment is very important in the Mirati, but we uh, we not much using this part in the this part in uh, the Miradi software because we don't have enough data and sometimes we confuse it on the uh, viability assessment because there is uh, not some of, we don't have clear understanding of the uh, ecological attributes, size and context and landscape. Then, uh, for example, what is it? We uh, all we know the sites. Site is very easy part, but it's the content, uh, con um, condition, conditioning landscape part is sometimes we are uh, difficult to exp explain it. What 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 what's mean the landscape? What's mean the the, uh, mean the condition? Tugi, hi, this is Elka. I think I need to urge you to start wrapping up in the interest of time. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Then another part is uh, threat assessment approach and guideline. This is uh, also not clear in the uh, in the guideline. Also, in Mongolia, use Miradi software as a must daily work in the protected area administration officers. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Thank you, Tuvi. That was awesome. And it's fantastic to hear how everyone is working together to apply this open standards in Miradi in, in, uh, in an entire country. Um, do we have any questions for Tuvi? I don't see any up to now. Yes, Annette Olson is asking, is the NGOs or the government driving the uptake of Miradi for protected area management? And is the government clearly seeing benefits to this? Uh, and dedicated to applying it. You want to answer that, Tugi? Yes. Yes, because this is... Uh, it, um, most of the government people, the, uh, people who, uh, who work in the uh, Ministry of Environment, they, they really clearly understand what we are protecting, what we are conserving in the protected area. In the Miradi and the open standards very clearly define it for the target based plan that's uh, because Peru, uh, in before 2012 protected area management plan is very general they always talking about general things now it's after 2000 uh, after 2012 it's uh, most of, of many people understand for clearly understand what 